Hi tribe, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Ashley and if you're new here, Karibu Sana. If you're coming back, thank you so much for clicking onto this video. I really appreciate you so much and please welcome to the channel. Feel at home. You are welcome to the tribe. You are part of the tribe right now. So yes, Karibu Sana. Yeah. So click the subscribe button and be officially welcome to this channel. Please like this video even before we start because I am going to be detailed with my answers. People ask me questions on Instagram and they said, why not? Let me answer them here on YouTube because it's been a while before I posted a video. But I'm happy to do this video today for you guys. Yeah, before we continue, this video is sponsored by Janja Vets. Janja Vets is a is a vets company that supplies different types of vets it's not only one so you can you have different uh vets to choose from yeah so these are just some of the vets that they send me and i can't wait to explain each one of them as we go on i really really um excited about this video let me show you the questions that you all asked Guys, these are so many questions to be honest, but I'm going to answer as much as I can. Okay? Okay. <laughs> what tablets were you using for appetite gain? Foods to gain weight, Naka 17 banner. I think I think I got so many questions about that, about the weight gain tablets and like how to gain weight. Honestly, guys, what I can say about me, I used to be really thick in 2021 20, 2022 then <laughs> nika had break you and i got into so many stuff like different stuff um heartbreaks from my friends my my family like a lot of things just dawned on me and i was like wow okay but that was the main reason i stopped eating a lot i started drinking a lot i started like i could just guys i could drink today not eat drink tomorrow not eat <laughs> or just eat a piece of chicken or just like i, I was i honestly guys i was really really struggling with my appetite so i last year i went to the chemist i was like what can i use for appetite gain trust me they gave me this medicine in a bottle it was it's this syrup so that's what I was using and my appetite slowly slowly improved up to now I don't use it even anymore I stopped using it like around three months ago and you see my appetite is not so bad as much as still I'm really I really struggle with appetite the people around me still tell me that oh you're a poor eater oh you don't eat a lot oh this this but at least my me myself I know that I have really really improved with my eating so I'll put a picture or a I'll, I'll check for it i don't know the exact name so i'll put a picture there or like i'll google it and put there the details so that you guys can go and check it out if you want to but one thing i can tell you about weight gain is just stop stressing yourself some people are really skinny because of their boyfriends like every day every single day unateseka hadi Yani ata, you can't have peace even if you eat even if you feel yourself eat, how you're still not getting thick you're still not getting healthy you don't look healthy because he keeps on going to sleep with different women and coming to sleep with you like it's making you skinny and your your skin is losing its niceness and you know so that's another thing really check it really check it being in toxic relationships really make you not have like gain weight <laughs> yeah or just not be okay right like you'd know if someone is suffering <laughs> not a question but so sorry about sky has been thank you oh by the way guys sky he fell on the like through the window because of the machines i was not around but the cleaners are there and they had cleaned one quarter me my i think but now when he came back sky was like jumping through that window and he fell through the, the other side but you know i'm i'm just on the fourth floor so you don't even expect a cat to die but sky sky had already fallen before i don't know if you guys i told you youtube or i told instagram but he had fallen before and that's why like it was so hard 
for him to hold himself again so he hit himself his head and my baby went so yeah do you ever go clubbing if yes why don't you post such content i really post such content um because um i don't see the reason why i should post while i'm clubbing because i mean i'm drunk we are drunk we're doing stuff and uh, we're just like like dancing you know it doesn't speak me to post a lot about clubs you know i don't like clubs anymore because most of you have been with me in this journey and you know like what clubs have done to me in terms of like hosting and stuff like that i don't even think i want to go and host anymore like i don't think i want to host anymore yeah so before you go to the next question look at the purple bomb in your face it is premium salt nicotine it's 50 milligrams 30 ml to 50 milligrams so it's really i don't know if you guys want to try it but this is how it looks when you go for concerts this is really really perfect perfect this is perfect for concerts only. how do you apply for cloth line ambassadorship or brass or brand ambassador for cloth lines do you go to them or do they come to you in your case that is for me most people come to me but also i approach brands when i have an interest with a brand i approach them i'm telling you guys usiske vibaya to approach brand la focus kuku chukua manini just go tell them how you feel about their brand and why you your brand resonates with their brand and why you'd like to work with them and who told you about them or how did you know about them yeah you just be nice and try to reason with them and if they don't some of them like are rude i know i know like personally i feel like some it's so rude when when a, an influencer approaches you as a brand and you just leave them on scene you know like you can easily say hey sorry we don't have any vacancies right now mostly these big brands they will never leave you on red but these small ones like i feel like it's a bit unprofessional even to mistreat um, an influencer just because you feel uh, that's an influencer trust me influencers when someone posts you do you know a thousand people if only a thousand people get to see your business can you put a thousand people here and tell me how how many people are there tell me out of that a thousand people there's at least 50 people who will take in of that business that you have so i don't see the reason why any brand should be like we're not gonna answer her you know but at the same time what i'm saying is just try to be nice to them and like approach them in a good manner show them your your portfolio your work Oh, someone wanted to meet me for a solo birthday date guys no not now you maintain your shape and what do you eat guys by really really stretching i really like stretching a lot i do stretch a lot in my life i just like one thing one thing guys is you don't really have to always just go to the gym you can stretch and your life will be okay stretching is also really painful but it really helps your body to you know to gain the shape to be like you know when you stretch i don't know if you understand if you get me you get me hey ashley have you now shifted your content for vlogs to like real estate content love the new content by the way it suits you guys I had been telling you guys that I really, really, really am studying and I'm trying to find information about real estate. I remember two years ago, even someone told me in this mini that they met me two years ago when I was looking for a house in Savo. No, I wasn't looking for a house in Savo. That, that Savo in Bakasi, you know, I was trying like to start. But again, I gave up on it. I gave up on like doing the real estate agent and stuff like that because I wanted to be a real estate agent then. But now it's two years now. I think three years now or four or three years down the line. And I'm like, let me just do it. Like, this is the youngest that I'll ever be. This is the youngest that I'll ever decide to start doing something new in my life. And I'm not going to let any, uh, to wait for anyone's approval or anyone's a team to any 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 i'm i'm gonna do it you know and even if someone's gonna look at me like oh she's crazy or but one day just the way i started content creation one day too 
I'll get somewhere and I'll learn this market as I go on. And let me tell you all, there is no market that is saturated. If you want to do YouTube, do it. If you want to do TikTok, do it. If you want to do um, real estate, do it. If you want to start a hotel, start. If you want to start a makeup business, start it. If you want to start a salon business, start it. How many people each day start a new business and how many people are born each day? How many people are we? The market will never be too like too small for everyone the market will always be enough for everyone you know so yeah what i'm saying is get into it just like me what i'm saying is if you need a house a luxury house apartment in kilimani kileleshwa westlands or lavington hit me up hit me up because I'll sell your house or I'll rent your house. Please, guys. Build me. If you build me, we grow together and life goes on. You know? <laughs> Hello, Ashley. Kindly, I'm asking if I can ask your followers if I can get a job kindly. But then, guys, if you, ha if you have jobs, if you have jobs, any cleaning jobs, you know, like... Mm, errand jobs there's so many people that ask me for jobs like that like these two small small jobs that you can just at least give people around hey my millennials please my loves you people you know the way i love you so much millennials you know i love you you know i adore you you know i adore you. so please give give my people a chance give my gen z friends a chance let them like if you have those jobs come to my dm Tell me, actually, I have a vacancy here in my errand boys, or I have. Please ask your cl your fans. I will try my best to make sure to make sure, guys. Don't know why I'm looking back. I'm just hoping this doids. I'll make sure that I try to ask the background of those people, or I'll try to to direct you your way around your weight and age. My age, I am. <laughs> I am 20, I am 21, I am forever 16, forever 16, forever 16, yeah, your weight and age, my weight is I think 64, I am not sure, I've not, I've not checked my weight recently, imagine I went to the gym, but I've not checked my weight, I'll go and check it then, I'll tell you guys, oh, but I am 24 years, um, 24, I'll be turning 25 soon, but I'll let you guys know, huh? This time, by the way, it's okay. God knows, God knows, God knows. God. Oh, I can't wait for my birthday. Yo, my birthday, my birthday is coming. I can't wait for my birthday, guys. I need gifts. Please, guys, please be as be like me. You can't wait for my birthday, right? My birthday is coming. So make sure you're buying the gifts from as early as right now. <laughs> yeah. What's your current weight, babe? Your beauty is poisonous. Let no one tell you otherwise. Oh. <laughs> okay. I've told you about my waves. Where did you get the dress? Which one? Oh, the dress that I was wearing the, on that nene. That question, it was from a thrift shop. I'll put it there. You're glowing. Thank you. Ashley Vlogs, please. They're coming. I tell guys, please. I know you can kill me about vlogs. You can even try. But they're coming. I don't want to just produce some weird content for you guys and just leave it. Trust me. I want some good content for you guys. So they are coming. Did you buy a car? And no, I'm not hating at all, girl. Just catching up, Mimi. No, I did not buy a car. It was my friend's car. And yeah, they helped me. I can't wait to have my own car, though. Buy me one, please. Buy me one. <laughs> buy me a car, guys. As a young person, what work would you advise early 20-year-olds to do? I'm not anything to earn a living. There's so much that you can do to earn a living. So, so much. I think I'm even I'm gonna do a video about that. Let me just leave it that, that I'm gonna do. But there's so much that you can do, and I'll I'll tell you how to start and how to in that video I'm gonna tell you how to start um the capital and everything and where to get the the things and yeah probably I need also just give you like even the suppliers numbers so check out for that video. Check eh, you guys with your hip and butt size, please leave me alone. What's the inspiration behind your confidence? I think... I don't know. I think I just... Uh, like three years ago when I started YouTube, I didn't have this much confidence. But when you go on and you're like, 
I see na otherwise hata like venye nileza ku drive ukishafika hivi kwa highway unajiambia see na otherwise Sin, it's either I drive or I die or I cause an accident so what can I do let me just do it you know let me do this so you decide and you're like I have no otherwise said I do this or I don't do it and below on YouTube as you did I do vlogs am I blowing I've not blown on YouTube these people actually don't even like subscribing to my youtube channel like they just come and watch and leave and they don't subscribe so what you're saying blowing i'm not blown i feel like you guys i should be like you guys should be getting me at least a hundred k um views at least in one of my videos guys please just a hundred k just a hundred k just a hundred k views only like it is it was part of my my 2023 vision board to just get a hundred k on anything like 100k views on youtube or i get um 100k views on one video i mean or i get 100k subscribers or i get 100k followers on either tiktok or 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 instagram but um, i don't know i don't know can you guys get me 100k somewhere please please i'm begging anyways what course did you pursue i did credit management and i did a diploma and then i went to do mass communication as a degree but i didn't finish yeah i really hope one day i can get the money and go back to school and finish but yeah not asking but you really inspire me a lot thank you i so glad to inspire you guys and i get also in my inspiration from a lot of things and a lot of people and a lot of happenings like inspiration is just all over and around and i'm just happy that i can I happen to be one of the people that inspire people and it's good. I love it. Thank you so much. I'm grateful. Can you share your list old old clothes? I would really appreciate it. Um I did but not on Instagram. Hey Ashley, what would you do differently if you had to maybe I can probably I could I could do a sale. Maybe I could do a sale of like five things, five dresses or I'm not sure. I'll see. I'm so skeptical about doing a sale though. I'm so skeptical about giving my clothes on Instagram. So skeptical, but we shall see. Hey Ashley, what would you do differently if you had to start content creation? I would be entirely myself. Like I would entirely be myself. I would never care about formal fear of missing out. I would never care about what people would think about my my content you know i would never like put myself in a certain position where it's the the fans and the subscribers or everyone like um controlling how you what you do and where you do and and what you do i would never look for social media validation for me to live my life i'll just live my life i'll just Put content out there whenever I feel like and whenever I don't feel like I wouldn't and I'll just I don't know I think that would, I'll just be entirely myself that's it I wouldn't try to fit in I wouldn't try to fit in I'll just I don't know show you everything like be not really everything like the private part private parts you know private things but like I would I would show you everything as in in terms of my my abilities and my nature nini easy vitu zenye tunafanya like when mtu anaweza imba anaweza dance so i'll show you those like how i can dance how i can i'll just be telling myself <laughs> waiting um any old curtains to get them out um any graduation photos i'll look for them i see if i have them i'll put them when did you start living by yourself at 19 years do you you gave up on youtube pony no i didn't give up i'm back do you use any milkshakes to gain weight if yes share different ones i'll appreciate i don't use milkshakes but i drink a lot of milkshakes from cj's <laughs> and i drink milkshakes a lot <laughs> i love milkshakes yeah plug address and how are you mentally physically emotionally and spiritually mentally i'm i'm good i am thriving i am trying you see i cannot say i was where i was before because like guys ah, now i'm good now i can wake up in the morning and smile and laugh and 
and talk and no no even i can hug people that's so nice like no i hug people i when someone comes to my house i can sit close to you i said before i got to a point where i never wanted to get close to anyone like please don't touch me please don't even move near me like let's just be friends but you stay there i stay here because i feel like you're just going to manipulate me into liking you and then unisaliti like oh my god i used i i had this fear and like so much trauma about people i was just praying for it to go away like at least now i can at least trust people a little and at least i don't feel like oh i should just leave this person yeah anyway mentally physically i'm good you see i'm good i'm good i'm good i'm good <laughs> emotionally emotionally i'm good i think i'm happy i'm happy i'm happy i'm in love with myself with everyone with everything with life i'm in love and spiritually i'm in love with god like god is there for me god has been good to me god god is faithful god is everything like trust in god you know what build a relationship with god just be build your own relationship with god because if you try to say oh christianity or sujuni but i'm telling you build your own relationship with god and you're gonna enjoy it because you'll realize that god doesn't even hold so much against us he doesn't hold things against us even like god is just god god knows that he built he he ali to baby ali to he built us like he created us this way ali to baby like we are human beings there's so much humanity that people miss that they want like they think that if you're a christian or if you're a muslim you're supposed to be perfect you're supposed to be like allah you're supposed to be like Jesus is supposed to be like Muhammad. No, you are supposed to be like yourself. You are yourself. You are God's child in your own way. You are a human being and God doesn't judge you all the time like that. Only if you don't repent your sins. Are you schooling also? Unakanga ka pole would like to meet you one day. Oh yeah. I'm not schooling. Plug what dress and her own. Hey Ashley, please. Oh, your dress you use. So, Baby, you guys are so much about my clothes. Baby, you guys, see you gave me this clothes box cuz Mimi Aki, I'm telling you there's so many people who ask me for clothes. And this dress that I'm wearing right now by the way it's from Zuena Fashions. Zuena, somebody, Zuena, somebody. No, guys. I need to put it down there. I have I have received two pairs from two people with the same name. But yeah, this nearly the same but yeah this dress is so cute i love it and when i stand magic i'll put a video there so make sure you guys check her out and please buy from her buy from her because her material is ah, any everything is just so good any it looks nice i'll do a video for you guys so you can see honestly because i would like for you guys to match and it's pink and they have other colors though when did you know you wanted to start content creating when i was in high school actually, actually i think when i was in primary because i always wanted to be a youtuber there was no content creation then it was youtube and celebrities you know so me i knew i don't want to be a celebrity i knew i wanted to be a youtuber like something more calm you know something more like i don't have to be ah oh, yeah but life is like that how did you start your journey for brands to approach you guys you just have to put in effort you have to be intentional with your content tag people tag brands try to show that you're at least working towards something these brands will notice you they and and trust me more and more kenyan brands are realizing the power of social media so there's gonna be more and more um you know chances for everyone so don't give up at oh sijuini nini mimi ata sijuini kwanga na kaivi like i think my first year it was so i, I don't think i even go, ever got like a brand yeah i don't think so i don't think so yeah and then my second even when i started modeling i i think my first shoot they paid me 2k <laughs> and it was that brand <laughs> are you planning to get married and have children of course i'm planning to get married and have like a really beautiful wedding oh my god i can't wait to have a husband oh god ah. 
Every day we wake up together and we go to a house and oh my, oh my god. My man, my man, my man. My husband said no. Yeah. My husband said we could come. You could come. Yeah. Oh, my husband sent me to do this. <laughs> uh, my husband. <laughs> yeah, my husband actually is so funny. He's so funny. God, my husband. <laughs> Any advice for a small business owner? Don't give up. Don't give up. But build a good social media presence. Usione ati sasa unaanza kuchukia brands zingine unaziangalia una mbona hii brand hao wana wana posting tu vitu vya wanajisikia lakini wana wako na clients wengi kunishinda sijui nini nitafanya je ndo nikuwe kama hawa ama you're always in competition nini look at people in a point of learning like your POV kwa like i am learning from this person not i am competing with this person or they my competitors or no even even in content creation in anything that you do if you have people that are better than you look at them in a POV of i am learning not always like oh they are competing with me oh they are copying my ideas oh they are uh will never go anywhere can you adopt me we we'll be rocking some clothes and shoes <laughs> can you please follow back i want to marry you <laughs> Oh my god, if you guys knew who said that. Marry me baby. Marry me please. <laughs> How did you start modeling? By the way, in case of skateless on a need models, please refer me. I said I think I've talked about that so many times. <laughs> but yeah, I think I can also guys, what do you think? Should we start a modeling agency so that I can be looking for jobs for you guys and you know do stuff like that. How would you advise an 18 year old girl? Don't compare yourself. Know what you want in life and go for it. That's the best years of your life. Get what you want. Don't get pregnant. Don't sidanganyu upate mimba. Don't get pregnant. Don't rush into marriage. Don't rush into living with a mom. Live your life. Chase your dreams. Build yourself up. Be calm. Be kind. Pray. Um do your skincare routine. Take care of yourself. Look good, smell good. Invest in yourself. Go out, have fun, you know, live your life, explore things, explore people, explore situations, explore opportunities. Don't sleep around. You are very valuable. And that thing is very, very valuable too. So don't give it out just like that. Yeah. Are you still friends with Doromulo and Tambo seeing you guys together? No, we are not friends and you know why. We can like guys, Mimi Sani reason. I don't see the reason why someone would go on social media and try to bring you down. You know, at a time when everyone is trying to like everyone is talking about you, that means you're really bitter about that person for you to go on social media and start talking all that. You know, even there could be a chance of us ever being friends again if what if no one went on social media and started trying to bring down. So, like, did you think I was going to die? Did you think that that would be the end of my career? Did you think by you bringing me down now you will be up? Hmm? Like, even if you will be, I would, it, I would still be happy for you, darling. I would still be happy for you because I don't see any reason why you wouldn't just come and talk to me. And I even tried to have a conversation before a long time for, for you to go and say, oh, Sijini, this is just all those, all those things were really crazy. Like, honestly, for a person to say, because most of them, they are, they are just lies, pure lies. I was so so surprised but it's okay oh we keep receipts oh we do this it's okay 
if you want to bring me down after i have worked really hard to get to where i am then i don't understand i don't understand we were literally best friends we were literally like sisters so why would you do that because pe people around you have sat down with you and talked about you and talked about me and you've talked and talked and talked and talked about me but all they're telling you is me i'm talking to i'm talking about you to which people are me talking to honestly i'm not talking to i'm not talking to you you're the one who's talking about me and that's why you can even with you are still like kuje kufanya you talk about me on social media but i'm done with that i'm happy now i'm good even if they decide to come and talk again and decide to bring it's okay you know god will always fight for me and yeah just because of that reason i don't think like it will be so it will look so funny if you guys see us together again right like even even i've sat down so many times and thought like what if uh, we became friends again but i'm like we can't be friends again because of just that one reason airing things out airing the dirty linen to everybody like i was the one who was hurt first i was the, i should be the first one to go and and talk on social media but I kept my call. Plus, you're comfortable in. Can you give us a storyline on how your friends betrayed you? Mm, I'll talk about friendships in another video. This? No. I have lost my best friend and everything seems shattered. Any advice, please? Oh my god, I'm so sorry, darling. I know how it feels to lose someone. Like, to lose something or someone. I'm so sorry. We're sending you so much love and light and hugs and kisses and anything that you need prayers we are sending you so that everything will be okay and yeah so these are the vibes please make sure to check them out guys make sure to check them out this is the lost mary one i did the lost mary a real and i have the lost mary itself i love love it i have this lost mary and and i have this no wait i have this too and if you want to be like me, you can take them. Yeah. And tag boards. I love the tag boards. This, I had this and a friend of mine took it. Akakachkwa line. She never brought it back. I've, I've never used this one, but I don't know. Yeah. But yeah, so that's it, guys. And as, as, as I was saying, please, guys, don't let anyone tell you that you cannot do it. You can do anything that you want. As long as you put your mind into it, there is information everywhere on YouTube, on Instagram, on YouTube mostly. YouTube is a whole school. Go to the school of YouTube, learn. Like if you see my my videos for real estate, all these things I learned from YouTube. Just learn, learn how to do it. Even if you want to do um get ready with me, learn from YouTube DIY. There's so many DIY videos on YouTube. Just learn. If you have any questions or if you have any advice that you'd like to give us, give us in the comment section. We really appreciate. If you have anything that you'd like to correct me, correct me. I will appreciate any correct correcting. Um, if you would like to add any information to what I have added, please say it. But yeah, that's what my truth is. And one day I hope I can like really tell you more stories. But yeah. Thank you so much for always loving me, for appreciating me, for reminding me that I need to get back on YouTube. And I promise you guys, I'm going to try my best. I just need to get new content materials. That's what I need. But I'm good. I'll be okay. I'm not complaining with that I have. I'm happy. And yeah, thank you so much. I love you all. Follow me on all my platforms, Ashley Kenya. And see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>